Hey guys, uh, how's it going? Eventually, uh, I got something new in the, well, it's not really new anymore, but, uh, I got something in the mail. Hopefully it'll turn out nice for this video. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with it. I earned it pretty hard. So, uh, yeah. The reason why I'm making this video is because I ordered one, and I kind of wanted the other one as well, so once that comes in the mail, I'll show you how that turns out, and compare them, you know. So, uh, let's get around to showing you what I have. And here we are. The Imperial Stormtrooper Helmet from the Black Series. Now, people, you know, were saying that the thing was either A, too big, or B, too small for their head. What I found easy was to basically, here, let me turn it in, take out the straps, which were easy to do if you knew what you were doing without cutting the straps, because might, later on, who knows, you might want to put them back on there, but, uh... I, I gotta figure out where I put the straps. Let's see, put it right there. Whoops. There's this little thing right here where it'll come out of right there. Uh, is there one right here somewhere? I think it's, yeah, right there. Right there. I don't, it's kind of hard to see, but it's right there. There's another one right there. But. What I found easy, since my head's just big and kind of small at the same time, was I put this beanie on and then I put the helmet on and it fits just perfectly on my head. I didn't have a problem with it whatsoever. I mean, I was walking around town of El Paso, Texas. People thought it was cool honking their horns at me as they drive by. They're like, yeah, Stormtrooper and all that crazy stuff. And yeah, as you can see my wallpaper for the the Dev Trooper. Sorry, I haven't seen the movie yet. <laughs> the Rogue One movie. Shame on me. Um <clears throat> But once I get around to it, I'll probably watch it. I, don't, I hardly have money to afford anything because I am trying to save up my money for the El Paso Comic Con in April, which that seems to be going okay so far. But I wanted to get this one first before I got the Shadow Trooper helmet. And I just recently, yesterday, ordered the Shadow Trooper helmet. So sooner or later, they're going to ship it to me from Amazon. And I'll be happy with that. Yeah. But, uh, enough about, you know, you know, it's pretty cool. I mean, I like how they, uh, did this with the molding and stuff. I, I thought it was just going to be like a sticker. But I, I'm outstanding. Painted on. No stickers whatsoever. I thought I was going to get gypped for 80 bucks. Well, not 80 bucks, but close enough. I mean, this is outstanding. Instead of paying like an EFX for like $300, this is better than that way better and plus I don't see how uh, people were complaining about there was a seam I didn't never had that problem never had that problem um, this I don't have a problem with that I don't have a problem with no one's really gonna pay attention to it I mean I'm just gonna wear a kilt with mine and probably later on down the road buy a Shadow Trooper armor kit and uh Imperial Stormtrooper armor kit. The only thing I'm probably gonna make is the the armor and the the E eleven blaster. That's the only thing I'm probably gonna make. Uh, but that's for the future. For the meantime they're just gonna be a display purpose, but in that's enough showing you the helmet and all that. Let's see how it looks with me on it. So this is how it looks with it on. 
Not so bad, not so shabby, I tell you myself. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Can't complain. Um, let me just press this button here. I forgot to mention there's a button. And now I sound like a bloody stormtrooper. How about that? Not so bad, not so bad. Nope. And I have, you know, complete mobility in this thing, and it's not so bad. Not so bad at all. But, uh... Let me see, well, let me... Yeah. Hmm. But, uh, you know, it's a pretty cool helmet. It's, like, around... 70 bucks. 70 to 80 bucks, something like that, on Amazon. As well as the Shadow Trooper helmet. But you're getting what you pay for. So, yeah. But, um... Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So, leave a comment if you like in the below. And subscribe to my channel if you... And if you don't like it, well, that's fine. I don't have room. But, um, uh, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace, love, and chicken grease.